Hello Enigmatic Nomadics uh, YouTube channel. My name is Jax Austin and uh, we're out here at the Van Build doing tours of some rigs and I came across one of the most interesting guys so far that I've met, uh, Ricky. And Ricky is a music composer. Yes, full time on the road. And you are composing out of your van. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. That's what I do, exactly, for uh, TV, documentaries, production music, a lot. Uh, and my goal was to, well let, well, let me start this. I was a touring musician for 15 years, so I had a nomadic life and was doing music on the road, and then I wanted to be a, more of the composer side. But once you become a composer, you just hang around in one room, one studio, for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So that was the dream to finally get back on the road again and be a composer. And then I was researching what could be the options, and I thought uh, a van would probably be the best solution, you know, because it's more mobile in terms of more maneuverable and all that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So Interesting. That's what came out of it. I'm, I'm doing it for about three months now, full time. Still a little tweaking here and there and uh, whatever could enhance the working flow, uh, workflow. And so far, I'm impressed, you know? I mean, I did nothing more than anybody else. I just went on YouTube and did a little bit of research. And you know, I, I sacrifice a bowl to all those people who invented that stuff because I, I, I think I just put it together. You know? Right. But yeah, it's it's working fantastic. I, you know, I have a very strong computer that I need for composing because everything these days is in the, in the computer in, in terms of music composition. I have multiple yeah. screens in the back and it just still impresses me how well it works. Yeah. Interesting. All right, let's, let's jump in and see uh, uh, see your mobile production. Would you call this a mobile production studio or? Uh... Uh, I don't know. It's a it's a composing uh, band, so it's not like for recording other people, or bands, or stuff like that. Okay. It's strictly just for my work. composing, mobile composing. Yeah. The band, band composer. There, there, there we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, quick stats. You do have a Dodge Ram Promaster 3500 extended. I think that I don't even know if they're. They have a regular size, 159 wheelbase, mm -hmm. high rooftop. Yeah, the, the, pretty much the biggest ProMaster you can get. Okay, you know? biggest, longest uh, ProMaster. I see you have uh, wood uh, ceilings. Oh yes, and you know, I just the, be the best I could. You yeah. Know? Like, I'm together. guessing no, since you are a musician, you don't really have a lot of construction experience. I did like drywall work for studio recording booth stuff like that you know mm -hmm. but I, I converting a van I totally knew I mean I did like a poly ice insulation uh, actually I insulated the hell of this thing you know I have one inch of the floor one in the roof three inches in the walls you know yep turn that thing off about this year of course and I mean you know this is just marker board like the wood beams here as a structure mm -hmm. same here on the bottom you know we did the best we can yeah right uh-huh and a little fridge over here. Uh, do you have solar as well? Is that how you uh, yes, are powering this? Four 200 watt panels on the roof. Uh -huh. And I, I use the, whatever you call those little hooks, the factory hooks for a roof rack. And I found those uh, brackets that fit on them. And I just used a Unistrat kind of system mm -hmm. uh, that I got from Home Depot. Put the panels on there and made sure they're pretty tight. They haven't fallen down yet so far. So right. that's a good sign. I right. Guess. So uh, 800 watts total. Yep, okay, like excellent. And, and so the, uh, the the kitchen area here. Uh, <laughs> did I hear that you got this from IKEA? Is that what uh, happened? Yeah, the the base. This block here is from IKEA. I just cut off the wall on that side, so the fridge that is a little bit wider, as you can see. Yep. Put some plywood on there. So yeah, I'm not so happy with those locks, but I haven't found anything better yet. So yep. Cooking equipment. Yep. Uh huh. You know, everybody else using it. Uh, yeah, great water is in here. Nope. Nope. Excellent. Yeah, Just a, uh, 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 one of those uh, plastic containers. Yeah, the seven gallon. Yep. It's actually full. Uh huh. So yeah, drain goes down there. And, and uh, nice looking uh, faucet and sink. Yeah, just a simple. I think that was an IKEA table board that I kind of hacked into a kitchen pot. And a simple you know, running water, of course. Turn yep. the pump up in the back. I, those uh, dispensers yep. for. Some lotion and soap and yeah, something whatever like you that, need, right? right? Mm -hmm. And this is okay. This I'm a little embarrassed to open, but you know, because <laughs> this will reveal my. That's about the first cabinet I've ever built in my life. Right. So you know. Yeah. It's simple. Those yeah. the those doors are from IKEA. Okay. Oh. Well, that's how you learn. I mean, I. Yeah. Yeah. I got those hooks here. And, uh -huh. Excellent. So the idea is so they don't 
open while driving. No, it, I've, I've driven with them like this and nothing happened so far. Awesome. Know? Which brings us to the other suspicious site. <laughs> yeah, so uh, tell us about what's going on here. So you, you, you blocked both sides of the doors, right? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, that, that's an interesting uh, factor for this ProMaster. I have two sliding doors, you know, and I found this van actually on a, on a dealer lot and normally most people have only one sliding door, even though you can custom order them from the factory with two. Well, here's the thing why. I need all that space in the back to have my composing set up in there and my table and all. I just need the space mm -hmm. you know I this this van is not suitable for two people for sure but it works perfectly for me for now mm -hmm. and so I decided to have a Murphy bed like this it's a simple Ikea slat construction it just falls down you know legs come out like this mm -hmm. and then uh, you were saying earlier and then you open the door and you have an incredible view right oh definitely yes. yeah yes like the the whole sliding door is accessible from the side you can open it lay in bed and have the world-class view whatever is there yeah. same goes for the kitchen I mean this door you slide open and uh, might be able to from here mm -hmm. nope. excellent uh, oh, okay yeah roll it's down. fine like that a little extra right. natural oh, this light. thing's gonna roll out oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> so okay now let's head back into where all the magic happens yep. although I'm sure it does happen over here um, <laughs> So this is a full-on office. Uh, could you walk us through what exactly this is for people who who are not familiar with uh, music composition and or and or computers? Absolutely, the I mean, 88 keyboard, key keyboard. Uh, it's everything these days in terms of music production happens inside the computer. Okay, so the only thing I really do is when you grab a guitar, you plug it in right here, and then you have a, sp a, a huge software where all the sounds come together. Like, if you want to record vocals or instruments, if you want to emulate strings on the keyboard or a flute, you can play that all on the keyboard. So, yeah, everything comes out of that computer, comes together, which is, by the way, down there, if you walk by it, that's mm -hmm. the PC Just is. down there on the floor? Yeah, that black little thing. Yep, inside. black tower. Uh, I put it there so you know the fans are out of my acoustical field. Uh-huh. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... There's not much more to say about it. It's a very powerful computer. This thing is for like if you want to change your equalizers. It's a remote control start stop. You have the fader here. You know, I would have to power up the computer and I can show you what the software looks like. If you'd like to. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Why on earth you would try to make a music composing studio in in a in a van? Why why not an apartment? Why not a house? Why not something larger like an RV? Well. Okay, multiple. Wow, that's a long one. I'm trying to keep it short. Uh, like I said, I've been a touring musician, so I've had a nomadic, nomadic life for many, many years. You know, it's different. It's like if you ask a trucker. You know, they also nomads, but they have to be on certain time. Same with bands. You know, you have to be at a venue, at a concert venue. You cannot just stop at a state park something yeah, once in a while, but barely not. So, I love the nomadic life, but I didn't want to tour with bands anymore. I wanted to be a, a composer, and once I switched over to composition, it was the complete opposite. You are only in either an apartment, a house, a one room with your equipment for the rest of your life. That's all you do in one city. That's just not me. You know, I want to be on the road. So, yeah, I mean, and I, oh yeah, I, I'm originally from Germany, so I immigrated to the U.S. two years ago. And this country is just too amazing, you know, just to live in one city. You You want to see it, but then... I am a freelancer for over 20 years. My clients always call me when I either do, want to do something or want to visit something. Like, same here, Van Bill Party. You know, I wanted to help out you guys and appreciate so much you setting this up. I wanted to volunteer with whatever little knowledge I have. Client calls, you know, I need you tomorrow. So I have to actually leave today to get, get down to work. So this is the only way to somewhat be flexible, see, bring all those wishes and hopes and dreams together and put your studio in a van. You know, so. uh, now, when you're making music uh, off in the wilderness, uh, I'm guessing you do that sometimes from... <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the middle of nowhere. Now, does that provide any inspiration for what you're doing? Absolutely. By, oh, uh, you know, like when you swing open those doors and not look at another ProMaster behind you right now, like let's say like, like a lake or a mountain or something, you know, it definitely, definitely boosts up your inspiration. And I, I'm looking for a way to maybe film myself those those places I go to and I'm a boondocker I love the wilderness and the outdoors 
because I, I want to maybe do music videos and compose music specifically for that. But yes, absolutely, it's it's the it's the best ever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome. And I see you got your uh, computers kind of fired up. Can we get a little yeah. demonstration uh, of of what exactly goes on here in this yeah. uh, music uh, composing. Uh, Unfortunately, you know, once everything is booted up and ready to go, it's quick. But you know, this thing needs a minute to sure. fire up. But I mean. Yeah, you get yeah. It's just a simple window. So you have an ultra wide screen for your timeline. Right. I'm guessing. Uh -huh. uh, like in the past, I had actually three monitors here, like whatever the dimension they were. So I, I kind of hacked this this rack here, this monitor rack. You see the the mounting, the visa mounting spots right here, as somewhat glorious speaker holders. Right. Uh, but they were supposed to be. be holding another monitor. Okay, yeah. So the white screen works really well. I have that software. I can actually cut it in the middle, make it two individual monitors if I need that. Uh, but yeah, it's going to... I have to load up the software. Sure, so yeah. Take a second. Great. And um, all right, now I, I notice off uh, to the side here, this is where the uh, restroom is, huh? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm always joking with my colleagues, you know, that's the only ever time in your life where probably somebody in a music studio would film your toilet. I guess <laughs> like otherwise would you make a studio tour and show somebody's toilet. But yeah, it's a cassette toilet. Uh huh. Yeah, it's the first time seeing one of these in a uh, a van or a uh, you know, school bus or yep. you know kind of a DIY uh, uh, you know vehicle. And it works well for you. Oh yeah, it definitely works. I. I only use it for number one style, you know. It's a, it's, it's just like the porta pot is just a bigger cassette. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, they were pretty hard to find here, you know. And mm -hmm. I, I thought I, I, I want to have a big one, which because I, I'm sitting here like sometimes over 15 hours, you know. You drink tea and coffee and yeah. the toilet. And I don't want to run out all the time. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. So uh, looks like oh, and it's in German too. You have a. Yes. The software loading and... <laughs> the whole Windows is in German too. Okay. <laughs> That's great. X console wird geladen. Yep. Yep. Like, a little bit of home feeling it has. Yeah. Right there, but, you know. And, and what kind of uh, background do you have in music? You said you uh, toured with uh, bands and, yeah. and things like that. I actually went to... I graduated in a music college here in the U.S. Uh, well, 15 years ago. Uh, really my age. But anyways, uh, I, I went to Berkeley College of Music, which is in Boston and graduated with a diploma and focused on jazz and modern style, styles, guitar playing, style guitar playing. Mm -hmm. Went back to Germany, uh, had a really good career over there, you know, some really, really good sh uh, touring bands and different types of projects and already started my composing career over there as well. Uh, so was able to to apply for a green card and come over to the U.S. two years ago, uh, because once I got into composition, I was thinking about you know now you want to go for the real big stuff, go to Hollywood and Los Angeles, right? But also because I love this country, it's just there's so many things that come together, you know. It's like really hard to formulate in one sentence, but mm -hmm. yeah. So that's pretty much my background: 15 years of touring and about five, six years now of being a music composer. Yeah. Like I said, I think I mentioned in the beginning, I do a lot of TV documents. Most of my work is still in Europe, though, but I just work remotely from here, which is not a problem at all. Many times it's an advantage to be here when the, the guys are cutting a documentary over there with like eight, nine hours time difference. When they when it's night over there, you know, they send me the stuff over. It's morning here. I get up. I start to work. Like in Germany, I would have to work through the night to deliver the next morning. Because it's now I'm here with the time shift, you know. Yep. It's a benefit. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's somewhat how it looks like. You know, you have uh, the synthesizers, you know, with different instruments, and I should put it to my speakers on, and maybe choose something that plays. I wasn't ready for demo mode, I'm sorry, man. Oh, no worries. I just kind of sprung it on you, so thank you for, uh... Oh, cool. So, you know, you just choose an instrument, and I... Uh, whatever. I just pick something randomly. Like a piano. You know? And yep. you come up with, like, you look out the window. If that's the mood you want to capture, who knows, you know? 
That's fun. And then, for example, yeah, you got a cello player here that's doing this thing. And this is something you're composing for uh, uh, a yeah. project? Either that, or I just keep composing music nonstop, pretty much, because uh, a lot of television is not like you compose to the picture directly. They just want you to send over a bunch of songs that could fit the mood of the production, what it is, and they just take it and cut it into slices, you know. That's yeah. another way to do it, but, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. And uh, how could uh, people learn more about you or some of the music? Uh, do you have a SoundCloud that people could uh, check out? Uh, I have a website, which uh, ricardoguerra.com, or I just got vancomposer.com. Vancomposer.com. Excellent. Same website. Uh, I'm not really out there much. I, I post a picture here and there on Instagram. Same thing, Instagram, yep. uh, vancomposer. Uh, not yet the tricks to mention all those names the fastest way. Yep. But uh, yeah, I'm the band composer. If, you wanna, if you're interested in following or have any questions, or if there are any other artists, I think... I talk to painters and designers and those people already, and they say, "Man, like, could I maybe build something from for myself?" I heard about a painter maybe here in the camp. Yeah, like if you have questions, I can help all of them. More than happy to do so. You know, awesome. I have nothing to hide. And but that's just the way I did it. You know, there might be much better ways for sure. Uh, this is my van. Well, I, I I see. This is definitely the the centerpiece of of, of the van for sure back Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's that's the core and that's the way I need it for now. I, you know, I get up, I walk around, and I think about what can I change in the song or stuff like that. And yeah, it's it's a solo van, I think. I don't know. I don't have a girlfriend yet that would go on the world with, world with me, but right. maybe it works. Yeah. Goopy. Yeah, excellent. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for the for your time and uh, and learning a, a bit about your life. And thank you guys for for doing the the Van Bell party. What what a great great generous event. I mean, I met so many great people here. Uh, generosity of the people helping me out. I had my my some solar. I had just a guy coming in and give me a second opinion on my setup. You know, I mean, this is the place to go if people are. And, uh, you should emphasize it's the place to go for everybody. It doesn't matter where you are or what, what, what rig you have. Just come here. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I would agree.